what is up you guys welcome back here so this is a continuation of the previous video just in case you didn't watch it i'ma link it up here for you guys to watch but before let's continue with this one and honestly if i'm to be honest with you today i'm sharing about something that i've not really shared with anybody but today god has given me the courage to share it with you because i know it's going to bless someone probably you're going through something that i went through while in school so i'm gonna be so real with you today and if anybody's going to be bougie like oh my god simon you too oh simon you too you also did this you can keep that but god doesn't bless you pretend to be god blesses who you truly are I'm about to be so real with you because I wish I'd hacked, I wish I'd had, I wish I'd, I wish I'd clinged onto this years back. It would have saved me years of issues. So I want to encourage somebody who's called to change the world. I want to encourage somebody who's called to change the school systems. I want to encourage somebody who's called to be the first in their family line to do something different. I want to encourage somebody who's called to change their peers. Are you with me? Let me tell you, there are things in God that if we get them at an early age, while we are still in primary, while we are still in secondary, while we are still in our vacations, they can definitely change the trajectory of our lives. So before you finish this video, help me share it with as many young people as possible because today we are talking self-control. So we need to learn that God is not committed to our dreams, but he's committed to his purpose for our lives. Boy, what's your dream? Oh, what's your dream, boy? Follow your dream. But where was this dream originated? It doesn't add up just enough to a dream that is not connected at all to your destiny and purpose. Because you might get heartbroken because you're chasing after a dream that is not from God. Make decisions for destiny. Do not make decisions for your temporary desires. Now, this is a true story. While I was still in high school, there was this girl, she was cute and lovable. But at first I did not like her. Why? Because I thought she was something. I thought of her to be something that she wasn't. Well, she was nice, she was cute, she was a giver, she was lovable. Fast forward, before I knew it, we had fallen into a kind of relationship. And I didn't realize that not until one of my church friends came and was like, and she was like, hey, man, are you dating this girl? Only then and then did I realize that, man, this is really dating. Look here, guys, I had made my own dream and I was asking God to bless it. But I'm telling you right now, this way of living does not work. It doesn't work. This was just a temporary desire. I wasn't even thinking about my next 10 years. I wasn't thinking about you guys. I wasn't thinking about my kids. I wasn't thinking about my education. I wasn't thinking about my campus. I wasn't thinking about my next years. I wasn't thinking about this. Guys, let me tell you, let's not deplete what God has given us, trying to impress others and our selfish desires. God's destination for you right now is going to take you to make decisions, to say that, you know what? I'm not going to live my life like the other teenagers are living. I'm not going to party like they are doing. You know what? I'm not going to do what they are doing because it's puberty stage. You see a seed, but I see a tree. You may look at me and, 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 and say this is what I am, but I see what I'm going to be. Now we all have areas in our lives where we need self-control. I'm persuaded, I know. You know very well I'm right. You know, don't pretend, you know very well I'm right. We, we all have areas where we need self-control. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter number 25 verses 28, it says that a person without self-control is like a city with broken down walls. What does that mean? I mean, if you don't have self-control, you're literally open at all times to be taken from. You're literally open and defenseless, so anything can come and hit you from all directions. Man, you, I, I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to encourage you that you can have self-control in a season where everything seems to be out of control. Some of you are going to find people who are going to tell you that, hey man, please, you're living only once. Come on, please, let's go party. You're living only once. No, that's not true. That is not true because we are going to live thrice. We are going to live thrice. What does control mean? Control means you have the power over to direct people, behavior, or the course of events. That is what the mean, that's the dictionary meaning of the word control. What is controlling you? That is the question. Is it popular culture? Are they people's opinions? Is it peer pressure? Let me tell you something. There will 
always be something controlling you there will always be something controlling you it's either going to be sin control or spirit control let's go deep into this Let me, let's go deep into this just help me write the word self s-e-l-f self and what is self-control self-control is the opportunity for you to choose what is going to have control over you the reason why i've told you to write the word self s-e-l-f is that because there are two there are two cells that are going to be controlling us. It's either going to be the sin-empowered life of the flesh or it's going to be the spirit-empowered life of faith. You choose. When you go into Deuteronomy, the Bible tells us that God has given us the power to choose between life and death. But then he tells you, choose life. This is an open book test. That means he gives you the answer to the question that you're supposed to, probably to the test that you're supposed to sit for. God says choose life. Choice is yours to choose life. So you can either live the spirit empowered life of faith or you can live the sin empowered life of the flesh. So when I feel like checking mommy's bag for a note but instead I ask for it but instead I just ask for it that ain't the flesh that is the spirit empowered life. That is the spirit empowering me. The Bible says in Galatians the cravings of the self life are obvious sexual immolarity, lustful thoughts, pornography, chasing after things instead of God, manipulating others, hatred of those who get in your way, senseless arguments, resentment when others are favored, temper tantrums, angry quarrels, only thinking of yourself, being in love with your own opinions, being envious of the blessings of others, murder, uncontrolled addictions, wild parties, and all other similar behaviors. Haven't I already warned you that those who use their freedom for these things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But you see guys, most of these things ain't worthy it. Most of these things are not worthy it. How are people killing themselves when they have billions of money in the bank? It's simply because what they thought it was, it wasn't. It ain't matter what you're looking like right now. God's plan for you is bigger than you can fathom. Are we together? God's plan for you is bigger than you can fathom. And for those that think that their plan is better than God's, God's grace is sufficient. Why? Because he will rather let you try and fail and return to him and he will start again with you. That is what happened to me, man. I thought having God was the best decision that I could ever have, but God's plan was bigger. It was better. Guess what? She left me. She left me. And who remained? It was God. <laughs> it was God. It was God to mend my broken pieces. I mean, his plan is to give you hope and a future. But guess whose plan it is? It is his plan. It is God's plan. When you choose to be spirit empowered, God can take the worst and make it the best. His blood can wash you as clean as, as snow. He can better you. He can make you whole for nations. He can make you whole again. Yes, you messed up. But stand up again, dust yourself and stand up again. I messed up, but now it is time for you to make a decision. It is time for you to make a decision. What is going to be controlling you? You are a child of God. You are called of a king. If you like this video, maybe you can start hitting that like button and subscribe to this channel if you ain't already. Don't forget to share it with as many people as possible. Comment and I'll see you in the next one. God bless you. You know, I like shooting from here. It because ah, I get to see the sunset. What a beautiful! It is setting very well. I wish you guys could see. I wish you guys could. You see that? That is the reason why I really love sitting right here and record from here. Cause you get to see the beautiful sunset.